Hello, everybody. <clears throat> wow, my voice is gone. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am here at uh, the Creator Clash 2 uh, gala red carpet after party. Uh, I have no idea what is going on, uh, but I am here and I'm wearing uh, nice clothes that I definitely did not purchase about an hour and a half ago. Um, so what we're doing here, it's, it's gonna be a red carpet stream where uh, the fighters are coming in, a lot of the guests are coming in, and I'm gonna be interviewing people and uh, we're gonna talk to them. We might do a little something where we walk around, uh, walk around the party afterwards, but uh, the beginning here is gonna be a, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, a, an intro deal, right? They're, they're gonna be coming in, so um, yeah, so we're good. And uh, we got Dakota here, actually. <laughs> Dakota, how's it going, dude? Great, how, how do you feel? How do you feel after your fight? A million dollars, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's we we all did something just mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, that that was one of those things where, <clears throat> excuse me, we saw, <laughs> dude. I was see, I got into it. And I started cheering last night, like, I, cause I was in there, and then especially that last fight. As soon as I got out there, as soon as I started cheering, I was like, I'm done for him. I dude, everybody voice. like it was wild. Losing their voices. Dude. Unbelievable yeah. energy. And it was a pro fight. Yeah. Four rounds of yeah. three minutes. Yeah. We were all winded after the two minutes, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's just how it is. People don't realize. <laughs> I mean, imagine imagine uh, you going through what you went through yeah. in, a, in a in a in a boxing match where you're going head to head with somebody. Yeah. People don't realize even just like shadow boxing with gloves on gets you tired. Oh, for you know, just, sure. Just standing there and having your hands up and, and throwing punches, that gets you tired. So imagine taking hits, you're blocking, you're parrying, you're doing well, all this like stuff. When you, when you think of it, it's like you just hear like, oh, two minutes. Like, oh, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's like, unless you've done it, you will never know yeah. that that two minutes, it feels like an hour. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. So, so tell me what was going through your head when you were going up against Jack last night? Um, I just wanted to do right by my trainer, yeah. my family, and then everybody who came to purchase tickets that went to a charity. You know, yeah. I wanted to make sure it was a fight, but also fun, a show. Yeah. Um, and I think I did just that. I think we. I think did just I think that. you did too. I think both of you did. I think I think uh, I think everybody did. I mean, you you went out there and uh, you put on. I mean, is there a, have you ever been in front of a crowd like that before? Never. I'm telling you right now, when I walk through that drape. Uh, you watch it back. You're gonna see me do a 360 and watch. I almost cried. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. it, 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 it. I think I, I think we saw it at the beginning of the highlights there. Yeah. I think we saw <laughs> it there. But uh, so so, what's what's your athletic background? Like, did you did you play sports growing up? Did you... Yeah, I was a pro skater for a little bit. Oh hell a couple, yeah! A couple years of my life, and I think that's why I because if you look back on it, you're gonna see me almost lose my balance a couple of times. Yeah. You know, but I think skateboarding. Took, I was gonna say, you think that footwork? Uh, 100. percent well, I like the footwork has never been a problem for me. It was. Punching and, and yeah, dodging, yeah. you know, the footwork just came so quick because That's awesome. it's That's almost so the same as your placement on a skateboard. That's so good. <laughs> so how long did you train for this? Uh, for this one, I got notified three months before. Oh, wow. So you got you got ready to actually box in three months. My first fight was 27 days. Three months felt like God's gift to earth. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. But yeah, man, you, you went out there and you killed it. Is there, uh, is there anything that you... Um, what was your favorite part about getting ready for the Creative Clash? Oh, favorite part about getting ready? I I, I would say it, it's it's the training and the fight. Yeah. It teaches you discipline. Yeah. And and I think us as creators, you know, we don't have a nine to five. We don't like mm. have all these things telling us what to do, when to do. Mm -hmm. We have to be like on top of it ourselves. And, yeah. and doing the training really just taught me like time management and, and being on top of my shit. Yeah. You know. It's yeah. One hundred percent. So, yeah, I think it's one of those things where people don't realize. Uh, it having having something that you have to like commit to. Yeah. It, it sometimes you just need like those uh, they're almost like milestone like little like checkpoints. Yeah. So it's like okay, well if I'm doing this and it kind of gets your whole day your whole routine ready and yeah. you have a goal at the end. So you're going you're climbing that mountain and when and you all, get there you get there. Yeah. So, well, it all led to the ring yesterday yeah, night. You know. Absolutely. And and you can really tell it. everybody. Everybody put work in. Absolutely. You know, nobody slacked off, and you could see it in the fight. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that was uh, that was really really impressive. So. <clears throat> after all this, after after the entire event, everything that you experienced so far, what is your what is your biggest takeaway? Uh, it, it's funny. My biggest takeaway is is failure is a part of the process. Okay. My biggest my biggest takeaway is is you're supposed to get hit. You're supposed to fall down. You're supposed to fail to get that success. Yeah. And uh, I'm ready for a next fight. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. So it's so funny that you say that. Uh, it's something my dad told me whenever I was a kid. My my dad always said. I love 
football. I love sports. I love American football. And the reason why, he said, it's not about like, it's not about winning. It's not about the sport. He said, it teaches kids how to lose. Yeah. And when you know how to lose, how you react to, to a loss, how you react to failure, right? Failure, so to speak. If you react the right way, that, that failure is not a failure. No, not that at all. It's an ability to grow. It's an ability to get better. So, well, I, I feel uh, so many people are like, oh, you, you suck or you failed or you this or you that. And it, 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 it's a part of the journey and process yeah. to get that win. Nobody yeah. wakes up. Oh, I'm sure some of these people woke up and got a win, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but nobody wakes up and just does it, you know. Right. It, it's a part of that process. And right. I'm super thankful for Creator Clash. You right. Know? I mean, it, you, you got to think about it this way. The, the ability to even go through all that training, all that preparation, get in the ring and to compete. Yeah. That's a win in and of itself. I mean, 100%. In, in front of in front of, you know, you had 13,000 people watching in person yeah. on top of however many tens of thousands of people watching live. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that I, takes that takes balls. That yeah. takes a lot of guts. Ah, so. it really did and, yeah. and just looking at everybody, I everybody was a winner cuz they did it. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, man, we did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And raised a ton of money for charity too. Yeah. Do we know the uh, amount yet? I, I have not heard the total amount yet, but I'm sure we'll. I mean, we'll be hearing I, it shortly. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find out. So pretty pretty soon. Hopefully hopefully during the stream we'll find out. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know where Anissa is, but oh she's there. Maybe she'll come by and tell us later. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, anyway, is there anything you want to say? Is there anything you want to you want to tell the audience? If you want to let people know about. I yeah. If, if you guys you know want to be a YouTuber, want to be a boxer, want to <clears> be a skateboarder, a plumber, it doesn't matter. Just do it and don't ever go, I would, but, or whatever. Just do it. There's a frog here. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Sorry, a frog. Wait, is that somebody's frog? There's a wild. Is that? So Why is there? There's an act. There's a frog. Can we turn the camera to the frog? Yeah, yeah. There's a frog here. Can we turn one of the cameras? There's a frog there. It, right here. Right here. How does this get in? It's not even like I, we're in Florida, in the middle of in the middle of the city. Yo, hello. The best seats in the house. Hey, hey. what's up, man? <laughs> hey, do you have anything for us? <laughs> oh, no questions. My bad. He turned away. Yeah. Well, anyway, so okay. Dakota. Thank you for having time, us man. out. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. You're uh, have a good one. It. Okay. Yeah, we'll see you, man. I'm good. How about yourself? I'm great. How are you feeling today? I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like sore? Do you feel like no? You feel better? You so you feel you feel better than you expect? Uh, I think I well, like based on how my fight went, I think I went the like self-preservatory route. Mm. Basically, I had like an asthma attack oh, and I dude. couldn't breathe. Like I have asthma too. And so I was like decided to not just keep taking hits to the head. <laughs> I decided to not die. We, be, so. While I couldn't breathe, I was like, I don't think I'm going to catch my breath. I think I realized after the first round, you know, adrenaline took over, didn't do anything that I had yeah, yeah. practiced, did abandon the game plan. You know how it goes. Yeah. So uh, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no, I can't breathe. But we're going to try to spend this minute catching my breath. It didn't happen. So <laughs> I was like, let me just not get a concussion. Yeah, well, let's let's take a look. I mean, we can watch oh, it right great. here. Whenever you fought Aaron, yeah, I haven't seen this yet. So, oh, that's interesting. Congrats to Aaron, though. Yeah, dude, I like I like your robe. Dude, I'm like so I'm the so dazed and, and confused here. I thought <laughs> I was gonna pass out before I actually before I actually. Damn! Went look at that. You got a good hit on him. Yeah, I got some good hits in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was too brawly. Didn't actually do anything. Didn't didn't really box out there. No defense. It was great, though. I mean, how, how long did you train for this? Uh, I started training um, maybe eight months ago, but I started sparring in January. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so how how much? Uh, what what do you think was the biggest thing that you developed in your in your uh, biggest training? Biggest thing what? The biggest thing that developed for you in your process, mm. training process. <sighs> Lots of muscle. Yeah. Um, uh, how, what was your weight difference? Well, I I just had like a more like body oh like recomposition like recomposition yeah. there you go yeah um, but that yeah that was the main thing that happened yeah um, it was 
I don't know. It's just like cool to try a new thing. Yeah. To like develop a new skill. Yeah. 100%. And like get really nerdy about it. I know yeah. that like the fight didn't really show it, but like there, you know, there's so much that you do learn. Yeah. About the technique and like the game of yeah. it. Um, of course, like it's sometimes hard to like stay, keep the presence of mind when you're like, yeah. you know, there's right. cheers, tens cheers, of thousands cheers. of people. I'll cheers. Yeah, for sure. Amran's here. Hey. Jarvis was shocking about his fight. He said, like, one of the biggest things that, that he liked the most about training is how he could get, like, almost, like, real nerdy about it and just talk about, like, yeah, the little things that, that he fun. could get better at and, like, kind of min-max yeah. it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's super awesome. Yeah. The learning process. The learning yeah. process. You saw me before my fight. I was, like, pacing around. I was, like, so nervous. I've never been – I've, like, performed before in front of crowds and stuff, yeah. but this is, like, a whole new level of, like, scare, scary. Closer. What's Closer. the biggest crowd you've ever been in front of? Oh, probably just a couple hundred people before yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So all of a sudden you're in front of 13,000? Yeah, and I'm just like, oh boy. And then it's just, yeah, it's all, it all just is a, a blur. But it was so emotional, like the having my friends behind me and seeing everybody oh, in the crowd and the fans and stuff. I like wanted to tear up like multiple times. Yeah. Even like watching other friends um, walkouts. Yeah. It was like super cool just to like see everybody in their element and yeah. uh, get to show off what they've been yeah. you know doing. It's, it's awesome. like a it's like a hobby that's like a like more than a hobby for the past like mo more than most of a year yeah. for a lot of us. Yeah. Well, I mean it's it's your whole your whole lifestyle is based around it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's already yeah. cut into my stream time heavily. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it, Amaranth is fighting uh coming up. I yeah. am. Yes. Wait, how long have you been training? Uh, one month. One month oh, right now. Oh, that's exciting. And it's, it's going super. well so far? Yeah, it's it's going really well. I'm learning fast. I have an advantage with the girl, for sure, physically. Okay. But, um, yeah, I've only got three months left. Okay. I mean, three months, you can do a lot. Will Haynes only had three weeks. Woo. Yeah, so he was a late replacement, and uh, I'm really proud of him. He was at my gym, and uh, I watched him learn to jump rope a month ago, and now look at him. He's really? He's a champion. What, where, where'd you where'd you train out of? We were at uh, CM Stables in Alhambra. Okay. Um, this uh, pro boxer uh, Carlos, it's his gym, mm -hmm. and uh, and then my my coach Quick, he uh, is a buddy of Carlos and trains out of that gym. Okay. It's a bunch of uh, a bunch of pros, a bunch of like people who are trying to like turn into pros. The best fourteen year old in the nation trains out of there. It's a cool little spot. You know what I saw? That reminds me. There was a, uh, I, I saw a video on Twitter of like, I don't remember, I don't remember where I saw it. I had like 60,000 likes or something. It was like literally like a, maybe a five, six year old kid. And he's like doing like slips and like. Yeah, yeah. Like the, so they start him, they, start, so they start him young. But I think that, you know, if you grow up around it, you know, you might want to try. Give it, yeah, like yeah. A, his dad was a pro boxer. So he was like, oh, Makes I want to give this a try. And his dad was never going to force him to do it. Yeah, but then yeah. he like decided to take up the mantle. Yeah. Um, and so that'll be you in three that'll months' be me. time. In three yeah. months? Yeah, you're going to go pro. Oh, so absolutely. Is there, is there anything that you kind of want to uh, leave people with? Like, uh, oh. after, after this whole, all, everything you've yeah. experienced this weekend, like, what, what would you want to let people know? Uh, get out of your comfort zone, try a new thing. I, you know, this isn't something that I ever saw myself doing, but that mm -hmm. was exactly why I went for it, to mm -hmm. just give it a shot. And it was for a good cause. And so I figured, you know, what's the harm? And uh, look at me now. I'm a loser. <laughs> no, look. You made it out. You worked hard. You fought in front of 13,000 yeah, people. Yeah, it's true. Tens of thousands of people online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That takes balls. That no, takes dude, it was, it was super fun. It was a super yeah. rewarding experience. Got to meet a lot of amazing people and, yeah. and raise money for great causes. So yeah. I'm really happy. That's awesome, man. Well, thanks for coming to talk yeah. to us. Yeah, pleasure. All right, dude. See, See you guys. Ya. Nice suit. Is this silver Making, or white? What this, is, is, uh, this is white. And this is gray. White and gray. And this is 200 bucks. 200. I just bought it. I know. Hey, how's it going? How are you feeling? Hello. Come to the middle. Come to the middle. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Yeah? Uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah. I immediately walked off that ring and was like, I want to do this again next nice. year. Nice. Yeah. So you're, you're already committed. <laughs> yeah. You're already going to fight again. Me and my coach, on the walk back to uh, the locker room, we were like, this is our strategy for next year. Nice. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to work on, and we're going to kill it. Nice. Yeah. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah. So what, what, is, uh, what were you thinking whenever you got into the ring? Like right, like right before the fight? It was weird. Um, the, the whole day leading up to it, I thought that the sound of the crowd and like the size of the arena was going to make me really, really nervous. Mm. The second I stepped out of the curtains and my like walkout song started and everyone started cheering, it was like I was a racehorse and I got blinders on oh, and yeah. I just, I just like fed off of it and uh, 
getting in the ring. I remember sitting down and my coach going, okay, we're going in round five. This is the last one. And I said, no, this is round three, right? It can't be round five. <laughs> yeah. I still got gas in the tank and it didn't feel like that long. Did you get checked for a concussion? I did, and <laughs> it took like two seconds because I was totally fine. Oh, I got, a, go. I got a tiny yeah. bruise on my eye. Very good. Um, but I, it was like a badge of honor. Nice. Did you yeah. see nice. the audience from the ring or not really? I saw my one, uh, one of my friends was standing in like an empty space behind my corner. So okay. every time I went back to look at my coach and like talk to him, I saw my friend Matt Key just screaming my name in a spotlight in the crowd. And it really, really helped. Just like seeing him and then going in, getting in the headspace with yeah, the coach. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome. so wholesome. I that's love really that. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, what was what was going through your uh, what was going through your mind during the fight? Like as far as did you make any adjustments throughout the fight that really like you're like, oh I need to do this now or I need to work on this in the next round? Uh, Alana is a terminator. She she's she real is aggro. a flurry <laughs> she aggro. Is, she, <laughs> she just came at you like She's walking. just like a W key. Yeah. <laughs> like, Oh, wow. You guys have I, good punches. Hit. I got a lot of good counters of like countering her jab and then hitting her with a cross, but she knew that she could overwhelm me um, <clears> just <throat> by throwing a lot of light hits. Yeah. And she was right because I threw run. You off your, <laughs> threw you off your game a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. That's something I have to work on next year. But mm. um, every, every round I tried to feint her more and to like mm. rush in a little bit more or like try to control the fight a little bit more. Yeah. Because she, if I wouldn't, she was going to run me around that ring constantly. Yeah. Like a broken watch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's good. That's good to, to be able to go in and, and throughout the course of a fight have the uh, uh, presence of mind to be able yeah. to, like, make adjustments, like, from round to round or even within a round. Yeah. So that's good. That's the great. The fighters last year also told me that in the ring I was not going to hear my coach at all. Like, I was going to see him talking to me, but I wasn't going to, like, uh, hear any of it. Mm. I heard my coach. But if I listened, that's another story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I heard him saying, let's go, hands up. And I was like, yeah, yeah, later. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll put them up in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> like, are you Just farming emotes? <laughs> like, what are, you, what are you saying? Are you farming emotes? <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? Do you have, yeah. like, a list of people you want to fight next? Um, I actually talked to Marisha after <clears throat> my fight, after her fight. Oh. And I was like, I'm ready to drop down to your weight class if you want to fight next year. Oh. We can Ooh. do some really sick TTRPG themed fights. Yeah. I want to roll a dice before we touch gloves and see who gets the first punch. <laughs> I think that'd be really fun. Just like roll, roll D20 if we're like, yeah. oh, oh, it's a crit. I have to punch see harder. Who gets initiative order. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Um, do you, uh, so, so, what do you have, uh, like, as far as a takeaway from from this whole event? What is the what is the one thing that you take away that you would want to like let people know about? That I really want to. That you want to let people know. You want to you want to share with people. Just like doing something like this out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and Eleven months ago, I never thought that I would box. Yeah. I remember starting watching Creator Clash One and being like, "This is terrifying." And then the Minx and Haley uh, fight came up, and I saw that all my anxiety left. I texted Anissa immediately and was like, I want to do this. Yeah. And the takeaway that I, it's just pushing yourself and and doing the things that you never think you would do, it, it's life changing. Even if you're not, if you don't go as far as fighting or, or like doing something as intense as boxing in a 20K arena, just proving yourself that your body can do these incredible things is wild. Yeah. I never thought I could rearrange Alana's face like I did in some of those shots. <laughs> My hooks yeah. are deadly. That's what I take away from it. My there hooks are great. I love that. There you go. I have one more question. Okay. Amaranth is fighting in a few months. Yes. So what, what is one piece of advice you could give her? Um, block more. Block? Yeah. Don't let them blind you with just lots of hits. I definitely look down a lot. My forehead is sore from just taking a bunch of soft hits. Ooh, yeah. Um, just try to control the match in, in whichever way you're good at. I was trying to with hooks, but you can't really fight a Terminator like, like hooks that. Hooks are a, a, a tough one to control the fight with, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, well awesome. Great. I'm yeah. Thanks. Go drink a lot of champagne. Yeah. Go, go have fun. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. All right. Cool. cool. See you, Mika. <clears throat> Hello, chat. We're here. Hello again. My Hello. name is Fan. This here is Amaranth, and welcome yes. to Lou Goblins. We're here at the Creative Clash Gala. A lot of people are yeah. pouring in now. Streamer Central Time. Everyone's 30 minutes or more late. So I think we have it's our next That's how it goes. Guest. That's just life. My neck is screaming. You know what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Here. 
Hey, hey, let's trade spots though. I want to trade spots oh, in the so Amaranth. Good. Thank you. I want to trade spots. Yeah, because my neck is like screaming at me. Okay. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta you see. were fighting the biggest battle. Oh, this I know. Weekend. I know. I mean, we talked about it earlier today. You know, Ethan was talking about how uh, I deserve more praise uh, than than uh, well, not just most, but every fighter put together combined. I agree. Because Do you think that he's fought the hardest battle this weekend with his neck mm. thing? No, not nearly. No. You fought a much harder <laughs> battle. A much harder battle. No, no, I think Ethan's right on this one. Yeah. I think yeah. I think he deserves so much more. <laughs> how are you guys tonight? How is how is the carpet? It is red. It is very red. It's incredibly red. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so how how do you how are you feeling now? You've had a half a day after a day and a half after. So how are you feeling right now? Um, good. I got like the first good night of sleep in months mm -hmm. last night, which was really nice. Um, after the fight, I felt so good, mm -hmm. and then I came back to the hotel, and all of the adrenaline wore off, and I just like completely crashed. Yeah. Um, but I feel really good. I'm really thankful that I don't have a concussion or a broken nose. It's yeah. like what I really wanted to do was yeah, not get you, concussed. I would or not have known you fought yesterday just yeah. looking at your face today. Yeah, Thank to be you. honest, big no win. Idea. A lot of these guys, I mean, I've seen them throughout the day. They're, it's going to be exciting to see some of these guys, how they look. I'm excited <laughs> for you guys to There's see some damage. Michelle Carre because she's got a beautiful dress on and she's got two black eyes and a broken oh, nose. No. It's fucking yeah. awesome. It's so badass. We saw Speaking her of black eyes, the fight. we didn't see black eyes, but we did see the broken nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did, we so did. Good. So good. Oh, is this? We're, let's look at some of the highlights of your fight here. Yeah. What? How did you feel coming in the ring? Uh, I felt really good, honestly. I I was nervous before, but as soon as we touched gloves, it was just like, all right, it's it's time to do. Yeah. The, the do the fight. thing. Um, and so first round, I just was kind of like feeling out a little bit. I felt so bad about that. Oh, you were telling me about this. Yeah, I yeah. just like, you get kind of carried away in the moment and... Uh, Ethan, I, Ethan was telling me about this earlier. Yeah. Okay, so you, you were saying like, and it makes sense, you're like throwing punches and you know, you're, you can't really stop your momentum and he, if he's turning, and it just, it, it's, it is yeah. what it is. Like I'm yeah. throwing a punch and then he turns and I, this is my first fight, so I'm not like experienced enough to recognize yeah. that I should pull. Um, right. And so I, I hit him in the back of the head. I felt really bad about it. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, an honest mistake. Like it sucks, yeah. and, and yeah, like you might feel horrible about it, but it's an honest mistake. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, I'm. It's it's over now. The fight happened. It felt like it was like two seconds long. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Does it, it feel like going like into a trance almost? Yeah, because like the crowd was so loud walking in. And then as soon as it started, like everything just kind of like faded. Like I didn't really hear anything. I didn't really see anything except for Lee. Like it was just kind of like a big, a big yeah. blur. Yeah. yeah. Surreal. Yeah. So it's super surreal. When when you uh when you came off the fight, this uh this clip of you going over to your whole crew was like going viral. Of you seeing with seeing Mark and everybody else. How did that feel? And like, was, what, what role do they really play in like this whole thing for you? It was so cool just like having all of my friends and family just like over uh, over on that side of the ring. And so, um, I don't know, obviously all of my friends and family were super supportive during all yeah. this, but they were obviously very worried. Yeah. And so it was kind of just, uh, I guess just me being like, I did it, I didn't die. Yeah, I'm alive. Um, yeah, just all my friends being here and all my family to support me was so, so awesome. Yeah. And so, um, I don't know. It felt like a little bit cocky, but at the same time, I was like, I feel like I'm allowed to just like have like a victorious little moment. No, absolutely. Um, Definitely. Yeah. So it, it felt really, really nice. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Uh, do you? Uh, what? What? What was your favorite part of like your training? Like the, the the training process. What was like your favorite thing to work on? What was your uh, favorite thing that you learned? Even. Um, I think my my favorite thing was like uh, the more like gritty training things that we did so like we did like traditional boxing workouts but then like my coach would just have me hang from a pull-up bar and he would punch me in the stomach or what? he would have me push his car yeah, yeah. for like endurance training stuff like that so like wow. the traditional the stuff was school. great it's like, like, almost like a movie yeah it did feel like a rocky montage sometimes <laughs> where i'm like i'm yeah. pushing my coach's car in the middle of la yeah. what am i doing right He's, now that's like a fake snowblower yeah. it's like... it, was, it was awesome <laughs> um, that's great yeah, it was super fun so, um, 
Amaranth is fighting in a few months. Yeah. How do you um, How do you feel? I feel really good about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty confident that I'll be okay. Hell yeah. I don't 60, think I'll die. People is, I know is sixty thousand people in that stadium. Did this make you feel more or less worried? Uh, I think less worried. Yeah. Less because we're using padded helmets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think. It might have been sort of the same thing that I was experiencing backstage where like every time someone went out to fight and they came back, I was like, okay, they didn't die. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I, do you know how many people are on the card? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't okay. quite remember. Well, it's going to be awesome. I'm sure like the energy in the locker room is going to be great. Um, yeah. I'll tell you the same advice that every single other fighter told me, which I like kind of did, it, which is just like try and remember to breathe. Oh, yes. Um, because it, it gets real tense. Um, but that's so exciting. I hope yeah, you win. I'm rooting you. for you. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have anything that you want to, like, after this entire process, you've done the event, you've done the before, the after, all this stuff, you're here at the gala. What is, like, a, a, a word of advice or, or just something that you would want to leave the audience with after this entire thing? Um, I think it's a good question. I think, I guess, at the end of the day, like, Nobody really expects anybody here to get in the ring ever. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that a fighter is not necessarily like, my coach talked about this a lot, it's not like a fighter is like born, they're made. Right. And so like, I feel really good after this and I feel yeah. like I'm becoming a better boxer and I fell in love with the sport a lot. And so I truly think like anybody can become a fighter. All you have to do is just work your ass off and be willing to go through it. Um, and like I'm really proud of myself that I went through all the training and like and then I pushed my coach's car in the middle of LA it was worth it yeah, that being said go. would you do it again I think so think I think so? so yeah anyone you want to fight I do I, I definitely want to take a little bit of a breather but I I had so much fun in the ring um, so I, I definitely think that I would want to fight again okay there awesome. you go well awesome thanks dude thanks for joining us thank you guys yeah. so much have yeah, a good dude. night yeah we'll see you later dude we'll see you later my neck is killing me. Your what? My neck is actually, I keep oh, joking. I make jokes about oh, my neck, no. but I'm like, uh, my neck is in so much pain right now. So, hi. hey, what's up? Hello. How are you, man? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, hi, hi. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I am. I love the suit. Thank you. This is so good. Custom made suit. The, the custom made starting Pokemon. I love it. The, the original That's starting amazing. Pokemon. Wait, which? What is y'all's favorite starter Pokemon? Charmander. Hundred okay. percent. Charmander. I'm a Charmander guy. Mine's Squirtle. So, oh, okay. You know, Squirtle's a good one too. I even got. I even got some socks. Does well. anybody ever say Bulbasaur? Oh, nice. Can we get a socks? No. No one says. Can we get a shot of the socks real quick? I'm, I'm trying to stay balanced. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we, go. Here we, go. we got there Eevee. There's Eevee and Pikachu on the socks. Nice. There we go. Um, there go. No one says Bulbasaur. No one says poor Bulbasaur. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, it's uh, it's crazy to be here now. Yeah. After such an incredibly big event, I was obviously so nervous going into the event. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, Ethan did amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just... I'm excited, you know? I'm excited to actually be able to have a drink now, too. Especially, yeah. especially after getting hit in the head. Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling today? Are you sore at all? I am not sore. Wow. I, I'm very oh, tired, good. actually. I'm very tired. Oh, I do um, not blame you. I think I spent... Oh, they're showing footage. Of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at I that haven't even here. seen a replay. Oh, man, I look good. Yeah, you do. You I got like, go, like a jack. I got a hit on his head there. Ethan, Ethan uh, was just talking. Go, go, go ahead. Oh, go. he was saying... Oh, well, he got a good hit. There it he was. was. He was oh talking my about that. He was talking about that hit. He said that was deliberate. He did it on purpose, and he he meant it. I knew he was. <laughs> I knew he would do something about. Well, <laughs> so what happened? I got hit on the head there, which I now I'm just seeing for the first. Oh, that's the knock. Oh gosh. <laughs> it did phase me. Um, I got back in, and I was like, No, I'm good to go. I want to go. I want to keep on going. Um, and then he, I heard the crowd get what I think more loud for him than anyone. And it totally affected me. Uh, and then he got, got some great you. hits on me. Mentally got to you? Yeah, it A did. Bit. Yeah, yeah, no, he, he, was, he was talking about how uh, on that hit, like, yeah. he said he, he was just swinging. And then when you turned, like, he, he, he was just mid-swing and he felt horrible. Because he was like, I, he did not okay. want to hit you in the back of the head. I have to say at one point, he actually, during the fight, said he's sorry for hitting me. <laughs> oh, no. And I told him, I go, dude, you're not supposed to say you're sorry. 
my coach yelled at me when I said I'm sorry for that's hitting amazing. people and stuff. That's and amazing. then I was like, I'm like, you're good, man. You're good. Yeah. And then we went back on. So. That's so funny, dude. Just hitting. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's I'm sorry. amazing. This is a boxing match. There were 15,000 yeah. people. That's absolutely incredible. Mm. No, I mean, it was it was, a, it was a wonderful event, dude, the whole thing. What did you... Uh, <clears throat> In, in, is there anything that you uh, learned about yourself in the training process going through this whole thing? Yes, I learned that I am able to eat cookies and a lot of desserts and still be able to keep my stamina up. <laughs> there you go. Something that I do not have the discipline to give up is cookies and my desserts. I need that. So by training of getting my stamina up, yeah. I was able to. So you know, power ups. Solid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. There you go. Um, do you have uh, do you have anything that you uh, would want to like share with with the audience that you, that you want people to know after this entire thing has gone through? Well, well first off, I have to say Ian and Anissa in the whole Real Good Touring group, mm -hmm. and y'all as well. Y'all were in there doing those interviews. Like the whole event, I think, is just such a inspiration to see. Uh, it got me inspired from the very first one to this one, the whole pageantry with everything. Yeah. I just want everybody to know, like, this is the, like, this is the event. Yeah. This is the event that really just, I don't know, I thought it was done really well. All the fighters were just absolutely amazing. Yeah. And, you know, I'd, I'd potentially love to do it again, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see if my mom lets me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, or that, my that, wife, more importantly. That's it. That's the that's the CEO and the CFO. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, dude, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank it, you. And yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate job. it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Bye. -bye. We can't, Hey, chat. We keep doing this thing where where both of us keep leaning back into the wall, and the producers keep saying, "Walk up," and they're looking at us like we're crazy. Yo. Hey. Hey. What's up, guys? Oh, sorry, Matt. Hey. 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 What's up? <laughs> Not much. So, we have uh, we have here some the, the we have the pedigree. We have the uh, uh, what is this? Former. We have two former Creator Clash uh, uh, fighters. Man, maybe I have a concussion. So how do you guys feel? I feel I feel pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's nice not to be fighting this year. Instead, we just get to you know uh, respect our troops and uh, kind of just make our nation proud. Everything he said. How did you feel about your performance in the uh, in the, giving the national anthem? I I, I personally um, was moved to tears myself from it. I hope everyone in the audience had the same type of vibes. I don't know what you were feeling if you were nervous. I know you said you had some you had some butterflies in your stomach before the performance. I had some. I, had, I did have some butterflies, and after the performance, uh, we went back to the dressing room. We had a good, probably 25-minute cry because it was just a lot of uh, emotions to, you know, unload from mm. from being able to do that uh, for our for this this great nation of ours. So indubitably, yeah, it feels good though. It feels very good. Indubitably, uh, how many how many <laughs> how many jokes have you gotten about last year so far? Uh, a couple, you know. One you know, or two. It, it was nice to be in the ring longer than 22 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, I, a lot of jokes though. Yeah, yeah. I love them. They, yeah. they made me feel all, all happy inside. It's good. It's good because it, it it turns into like a running meme, and it's like it's just like you just go with it, and it's like yeah. Hey, hey I, I'm I'm I'm, pers I, I'm happy with how my fight turned out personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I really I really liked it. Yeah, no, it, yeah. Was, it was great last year, dude. You know. So how how was that like going from uh, going from like doing the event, being in the event, uh, to like just I mean you were. You were spectating, but you also did the, the, the national anthem. Like, how was how that different, like, emotionally? Did you feel any different? Because I talked to Internet Comment Etiquette, and he said it was different for him. It's, it's definitely a lot different, because last year you have the nerves of probably getting the shit kicked out of you, yeah. which last year, both of us, yeah, uh, sure. that ended up happening. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, lost, we lost both of our fights, but we won in spirit, I, I'd like to say. Hey, you, you won for getting out there and um, training. Well, this year's been a lot more calm, and uh, I, I, I loved it. As, I, as Matt said earlier, Anytime we're able to show some love for our for our nation, we're we're just happy to do it, and we're yeah. proud to be here. There you go. Like we'll always answer that call, you know. There you go. Well, I, I want to point out too, just one more time, Ryan. How much weight did you lose last year? Uh, I lost about thirty pounds. You'll be happy to know I did gain it all back. So <laughs> you look uh, good though. Like you thank look like you, you look like really you look like muscular. I'm thank you very yeah. much. You look, you look really nice. Sorry, what did you say? I said you look fantastic. You look really nice. 
You look fantastic. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's great. So do we, uh, like, what do you think you, uh, do you think going forward, do you think you would want to fight again after taking a year off? Ooh. I would, I would love to. I have a herniated disc, so that might oh, be really? not uh, possible. I have the same thing. Um, but... You know, in the if, the if doctors come up with some surgery that magically like heals it, yeah, 100%. Which which disc is messed up? It's the uh, L L five S one. I the same one. I think, yep. Just I the lower. One. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, yeah mine's heft. So, okay, well, cool. Well, dude, thanks for coming by, guys. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you for yeah, having you guys us. Are always a blast. Thank so. You so much. Yeah, yeah. Where do we exit? I don't know. Just walk away now. Hey, I'll be honest. I didn't even know I had to dress nice for the stream. I bought this two hours ago. Where's so, the exit? Thank you. Can we go this yeah, way? Go that way? We'll just lock Can we go now. this way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Do you the mic? Uh, give it to her. Okay. They're great. They're so funny. <clears throat> okay. So chat, how do you guys know? Oh, we got Aaron here. Hey. hey you look awesome. You're looking great, dude. I love that yeah. suit. Yeah. Look at the suit. Look at this. Black and white fit going. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Very good. Is this live? We're live. We are live. Oh, My hair keeps getting stuck in this like. In these, this looks like this looks like your house. She has a wall in her house. It's just like this. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I do. The whole yeah. Damn. I'm jealous. <laughs> so how do you feel the day after? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I yeah. slept a lot. I slept yeah. till like 1:30. What? What is? How different is the day after this year versus last year? Sorry, say that again. How it's really loud in here. It is. What is the difference between the day after oh my this God, year? Your voice. I'm, I'm so sorry, F, dude. dude. <laughs> I'm completely F. Between last year and this year, how how different is it for you? Uh, you know, if I'm being honest, last year I was like a little bit traumatized. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. like, I just got oh, wailed yeah. on, you know. So like after that, I was like, man, I tried, I tried so hard, and I got to here, and this is where I'm at. Um, but this year, it's like. Yeah, man, it feels good to win. And, yeah. But it's it's kind of mixed feelings because like I love Jarvis is right in front of us. I, I love <laughs> this man. Uh, he's so cool. And he's so yeah. kind. And uh, just like the memory of like punching him in the face over and over again is kind of like <laughs> oh man, I feel bad about that. I don't, that I don't like that. So cool. I like him so much. So yeah. But you know, it's good to walk away with a win for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. looked incredible out there. Very good fight. For Thank sure. you. I appreciate that. Very motivated. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was going hard, right? I didn't expect him to come out because, like, we're both big dudes, and I'm mm -hmm. sure, like, you know, both of our cardio is not like round five level. Mm -hmm. So I sort of expected him to come out slow and like, and he just came out swinging, and I was like, yeah. oh, okay, if this is what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I think like it, one of the things that, that's probably got to feel good is going from last year. You said you felt that disappointment afterwards to like the triumph this year, winning. It, it's got to make it that much better. Uh, it was pretty cool. I, yeah. think, I think the biggest thing was just like... you get to like, see the development. Yeah. I, I think it was just like everyone's reaction to it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, you know, my team, Real Good Touring, uh, has been helping with production on, yeah. um, on Creator Clash. And so they're all here. Yeah. They all wore Team Aaron shirts, which yeah. is like Aww. so sweet. Yeah. Like, like homemade, like airbrushed shirts. Nice. And uh, everybody afterwards is like, I cried. I was watching it. I was screaming and crying. And I'm like, oh, that's so right. sweet. I love that. And like just the, the energy of the audience and... It was, it was great. Well, yeah, super cool. Sure. That's awesome. So, so what is? Uh, did you do anything different in your training this year versus last year? Anything specific? They were like, I didn't work on this enough last year. I need to work on this this year. That's a good question. Um, I don't know if there was anything like particularly different because last year I really it was I was kind of a late ad, so I only had like two months to train. Uh -huh. um, so this year was kind of like, all right, well. We did talk about a lot of like what happened in the fight and like what I need to work on and like mm. moving and, and like getting out of the way of punches and stuff. Um, but I think it was sort of just like finding what I'm good at and making my punches quicker. Because yeah. I think last year there was a lot of like, like that. Yeah, yeah, like you're yeah. like winding up as opposed to just like coming out. Yeah. 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 Um, so I think that was like the biggest hurdle to jump over. Yeah, like taking what one. you can get versus like trying to get like the big shot every time. Yeah, and Makes weirdly sense. like. My cardio last year, I think, was better than oh, this really? year for some reason. Because huh. uh, I remember that fight and just like them calling it, and I was like, "No, I want to. Let's go to round five. Yeah. Like, let's do it. Come on." Uh, so this year, I was like so glad yeah. <laughs> it ended in round two because I was like, "I don't know how far this is gonna go." Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, man, that's awesome. Do you have uh, Do you have anything that you would want to like a takeaway or something that you had that you would want to leave the audience with going forward? Um, Takeaway to leave the audience with. 
Uh, I just think that it's so cool that this is all for charity mm. um, and that we've raised so much for charity. Uh, and there's so many different charities now that everyone's like representing. Um, I think that's absolutely the coolest thing. Uh, and if anybody has any opportunity to like, you know, do something for others, uh, it feels so good and uh, it helps so many people. So I, I guess that's what I would want to leave yeah. them with, I guess. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you think you're going to keep boxing after this? I might do it for sport. For sport. Uh, but I, I don't know, man. I've been thinking a lot about like a third fight and I'm like, might be too I, don't, much. I don't know if I can do it, man. I mean, this year was just like, there's so many sacrifices for the training and everything. And like, especially like social life stuff. Oh, like, yeah, I wasn't no seeing friends as much or like doing a lot of like fun little projects of my own. Um, so I'd really love to get back to that and uh, like tone down the training a little bit. But uh, one of the goals for this fight was to get down to 185 like, yeah. weight wise. Um, and it ended up not happening just because of the weight class thing and everything. Yeah. Uh, but like immediately after this, it's just like beeline to 185. 185. Because I don't. My New Year's resolution was to stay below 200 for the rest of my life. So. Do, you, do you do you think you have nice. 30 pounds to lose? I do not think you have 30 pounds. Oh, thank you. It's it's all in like the tall, right? Like yeah. it's, it, everybody says that, but I'm like, no, man. There's so I, when I moved to California, I was like 155 or something, like really? ridiculous. Like, wow. I, don't even, I don't even remember being that thin. I was wearing like small T-shirts. Really? Um, so I, I can get there for sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. And and I guess one of the things that I learned about this is uh, um, it's really easy to do that. Uh, with all this like hard work, I was just like shreding off weight. So. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, for real. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us, dude. Yeah, man, it's always thanks a blast, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. Thanks, oh, man. Thank awesome. You, you yeah. did a good job too. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, <that sucks. laughs> all right, should I just walk off? Or? Yeah, I think you're that that way. Way. Oh yeah. So. Oh, we got Marissa coming up. Oh yeah. Spoilers. <laughs> See Aaron. He's great. He's awesome. uh, I love Aaron. He's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, with Marissa joining us next. What is this drip? Hello. Oh, you too. Always. You look good as well. Thank you, thank you. But I mean, you. that's hard to compete which with. One of, which one of us looks better? Look, it's Creator Clash. We're all winners here. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> She's being nice. I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, one winner. You know, maybe, I mean, I'm, I'm close, right? Yeah, you're close. Oh, sick. Close. You're close. Right, that's Second all I can ask close. for. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, so, day after, how do you feel? I feel great. Really? I really do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's... That's like the question of the night, right? It's like, yeah. how do you feel? But both like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a little sore, my nose is a little tender, but emotionally and mentally, Perfect. I feel fucking awesome. That's I feel awesome. great. That is great. Yeah. So how, how did you feel going in the ring here? I mean, this you, oh but, my but, God, you have playback, look at this is. shit. Yeah, we got, we got highlights, we're oh high tech God. here. <laughs> so high tech. <laughs> I mean, it was just, it was such a blur. Yeah, she got a good shot there. Yeah, that's good. That was a crazy fight. Mm -hmm. It was a crazy fight. You know, I I made, I had my own little ego death like three weeks before the fight, and it kind of became less for me about winning and more about just wanting to make sure that I left everything that I had in the ring. There you and then go. I walked out like, I wanted to walk out of that ring knowing that like I gave it 100%, 110% yeah. and not feeling yeah. like, oh, I could have done more or... Yeah. I wish I wouldn't have tapped out, or yeah. why did I do any of these things, you know, so. Yeah, doing, and, yeah. doing your best is the biggest win, to be honest. Exactly. Because if you exactly. go out there, you get better, you, you, you're you doing this great, big, awesome thing for charity, it's it's an amazing opportunity. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I think I think everybody killed it. So, how, how did, uh, what, what's your athletic background? Like, did you play sports growing up? Or? So, um, I was actually a dancer, and really? I did, I did competitive dance. Um, all through like as a kid all the way up into high school which okay. I was um, captain of my dance team nice um, so competitive dance there so you know, like even fighting Haley it was very wild and surreal because she's um, a young content creator burgeoning content creator with a dance background yeah. from the south so it was kind of like fighting a younger version of myself. The younger version of yourself who had yeah. competed in it last year. Who had competed in it last year, yeah. which is the leg up that she had on me. But yeah. you know, I just kind of was convincing myself. It's like, well, even if she wins, it's still like a victory for me, right? Yeah. Right. You just live vicariously through her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But you no. did such a good job, though, because we were joking after you left that her face in the picture that they use for the way in comparison, yeah. she looks so young and innocent I, and cute, and it's like her face is not punchable. <laughs> <laughs> I was, 
it's like a little sister vibe. A hundred percent. And actually, I have a little sister who is the same age as Haley. And I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be like punching my little yes. sister. Um, but also because she's just so sweet, and so charming, and Haley is just so lovely. I think that's why I felt like I kind of had to lean into the heel yeah. roll a little bit. I'm like. Look, if I'm finding Haley, there's no way I can't be the villain in this story. See, this is, <laughs> this is why you're good at what you do. It's like, okay, like, this is what I want to do, but, like, if we're building a story out of this, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, let's uh -huh. make this interesting. 100%. Yeah. Like, that's what I love about boxing and, like, and just any type of, like, fighting or, you know, versus contact sports is, like, when I look at it at, like, a 1,000-foot view, yeah. it is still a narrative that's unfolding. Yeah. You know, you have your hero that you're rooting for. A lot of times there is a heel or a villain yeah. or someone, like, with Haley where, you know, I felt like the heel in her redemption arc. Right, and right. Like, and I love that story. Yeah. And I just kind of wanted to um, wanted to lean into that. <laughs> yeah, that's Aww. awesome. That's so, so cool. You took it easy on her. Well, I'm not going to say that. We won't tell anyone, though. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, yeah, yeah. So, so, for you, this the, the whole training process. And when did it start? How long were you training before uh, the, the actual fight itself? So I I started training in September. Uh, oh wow! September twelfth okay. was actually my day that I started training. Okay. Um, that date is burnt into my brain, and I actually had a little um, like a countdown widget on my phone that was counting down the days. So when wow. I installed that widget, uh. I had two hundred and ten days. Uh, and then so like the morning of the fight when it was like creator clash today, you know, I was like, oh my God, there's 200, yeah. there's 210 days on this when I started. Yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was that it. Is I awesome. grinded for six, seven months. That's An Incredible awesome. journey. What was the hardest part of training for you? I think it was, you, you anticipate the physical challenges and just how physically wrecked and exhausted you're going to be. Um, but I think it was like the mental ones and the emotional ones and like boxing is like a deeply emotional sport. Yeah. Not yeah. just because you're getting hit in the face, but, um, you know, because you can get so hard on yourself mm -hmm. and, you know, at the end of the day, one of the fighters in the gym that I train at, they were like, at the end of the day, the main opponent that you're fighting against is yourself. Yeah, no and doubt. that's hundred percent true. No doubt. And it took me a while to kind of figure that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, and I mean, but it's just what a great, what a great metaphor just for life. In general. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Spe speaking of all the emotions and everything going through, just one more question. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, we met your dad last night. He was yeah. obviously very supportive. So how how was that for you? Like uh, just just as far as like your family and everybody else involved, and you know, obviously your dad, Matt, everybody else. Like, oh what, what kind of a role did they play? I, I mean, I literally couldn't have done this without the support of my friends my family, mm. my fan base, the um, everyone that I work with, like, it, oh my god, I'm getting emotional talking about it. Um, it. It really is true that, like, their belief, everyone's belief in me mm. is, like, is what made me believe in myself. And, Absolutely. I mean, it was, this is one of the hardest things I've ever done, and I truly do not think I could have gotten through it without just such an immense support structure. Yeah. And that's awesome. I'll I'll never I'll never take that for granted or never forget that. That's so awesome. It's been an, it's been incredible. That is so awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming to talk to Thank us. Thank you Marcia. guys. Yeah, thanks for having hey, me. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Bring on the man, Thank the you. myth, <laughs> of the legend. <laughs> thanks. Hey. Yo. Hey you go. guys. Hey. hey. Look, Look at you. this. Look at you. Look oh, at you. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm doing You're looking right. good. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I, I didn't really get hit. Good. That's what you're supposed to do. So yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's kind of nice. No, no, no bruised eyes. Yeah. No sore muscles. That's great. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of here. We were look at this. We're about red it. carpet and shit. Yeah, red carpet, everything. Dude. Greater clashes, lights. We, we were talking about like uh, your like your boxing style earlier. Yeah. And oh, you got, you? Yeah, you're, you got oh. your long arms and it's like a sniper. So oh, it's yeah. like you're, you're like real defensive and you wait to take your shots and you hit like whenever you get a chance to. It's not like some, like everybody's different, right? Some guys come in and they're just swinging like, like dad, for example, is like, he comes in, it's like a flurry. Come this way, so, S-Fan. We need to be in frame. Oh, oh there we indubitably, go. indubitably. <laughs> and then, is that the, the, I didn't even see your walk in. Was that the Uzzy Usman? What's up? The, the, the viral video, the dance. Uh, what dance? 
your 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 uh, intro. I don't know. Uh, I just came out and walked. Dude, there's a video. You have I don't to know what up, I did. Look, look up like Ozzy Osman or something. It's okay. an old video, and he does that same thing where he's like doing this. It's oh. so funny. No, yeah, I was, he just, gets I was just he gets he gets in one shot. Oh, it's what so a punch! Good. By the way, hi chat. Hope you guys are doing well. I don't know what camera to look at. Uh, Hope you're doing well. You know I love y'all. But yeah, man. There so you it's, go. Been a, it's been a crazy event. I really wanted the fight to last a little bit longer. Yeah. I feel like all that training for I two minutes everything. feels like I didn't really get to do much out there. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's why well, that's I was able to do is. what I did. Yeah, yeah. that's how all, all combat sports are like that. You know. I guess like, I guess like the training is part of the fight at the end yeah. of the day, right? Yeah, it really yeah. is. Definitely. It's part of the whole thing. Yeah. I mean. What we thought really was crazy is that you looked so much like like what a boxer should look like, in yeah. our opinion. Oh yeah. my God, stop. It was incredible. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Like relaxed, agile, yeah. good techniques. Thank you, guys. Solid oh punches. my God. Yeah, I'm getting really. gassed up this weekend. It's great for my ego. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it, it, you just, just take it in and enjoy it. Just I'll take, soak it all If in. somebody sends me compliments, just take them. You know? I'll take it. That's take what I down. do. Sometimes I don't get enough, so I just give them myself sometimes. That's bad. If you need somebody to give you compliments, I'll fucking, you call me. I, you okay? know what, I will. You I have will. my, well, you don't have my number, but yeah, I got to nope, give you my nope, number. but I have your address. <laughs> do you have anything you want to leave the audience with? What's up? Do you have anything you want to leave the audience with? I just hope you guys had an amazing time watching the event. There's been a lot of hard work, not just from the competitors, but there's been a lot of hard work from everybody to organize this event, to make it happen, to put it together. There's been adversity that's had to been overcome to make this fucking show happen. And I just hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you were entertained. Because that's what, that's what it's for at the end of the day. And we did it for a great cause as well, which is really, really important. There you go, awesome. there you go. Anyone else you want to fight? Dude, I was, okay, I didn't get to say it after my fight, but I was thinking after, I kind of want to come after Dad. Ooh, that'd be a good one. Like, I imagine? feel like, yes. I think I could take on Dad. I think it would be a really good fight. You were actually saying that yesterday. We uh, want to see you fight yeah. Dad. Yeah. I think I could fucking smoke Dad, and I'll get revenge for AB <gasps> again. I'll beat Dearborn's might. All right, yeah. There come you go. Come at him. He's going he's gonna to try and avenge AB again right? next year. We'll, man. we'll see. Right. We'll see. All right, dude. Thanks for coming, Thank man. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for having me. It. All right, we'll see ya. Yeah. I think we need to keep walking this way. Well, we keep. I think. No, no. I think. I think you're. No, I think. I think we both go to the left more. Okay. We're getting yelled at by production. We're terrible at this. Come on in. Alana, how are you? My queen. Hello. Cool. Well, I'll do it. Walking the this Charizard spot. Orange today. I didn't even think about that. You I like it. Right. You're absolutely yeah. right. So how are you feeling? I feel good. It was yeah, really I fun. I had good. a great time. Um, it was very tiring. I had an asthma attack halfway through, which I knew would happen, but I did it. So I feel great. It was really fun. Like, I know that's a weird thing to say when you and a friend punch each other in the face, but my main takeaway was I had a really fun time. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. We had an absolute blast just pummeling yeah. each other in the face. It was Pretty wonderful. Much. Yep. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Was it fun to watch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it. fun to watch. I'm glad. I'm glad. You just came in there like a barbarian, just pummeling, like walking, like looked like a power Everyone keeps move. calling me Terminator, which I didn't expect. So, like, I had a strategy going into it, which was try to hit hard, but not often. Um, but I've had a lot of trouble fighting female friends where I really don't like hurting them. So, right. as soon as I feel like I saw the pain on her face, it all changed. And I was like, hit often and not too hard and that's what I did and I think I imagine I only won it was super close which I love because like it was really evenly matched yeah. I think I only won because I landed so many punches and I didn't really react to the punches mm. uh, but like I it, it, it was really exciting not really knowing how it was going to go but my strategy yeah. did change because I was like I really don't want to hurt Mika which is not great for a boxer <laughs> yeah. but I did my best yeah <laughs> you know it's funny I, I, I was saying this earlier I said this last night I saw so many comments when you came into the ring of people being like Oh my! She is jacked. I don't, I did I don't think get pretty jacked. I don't think people realize like how strong you are. Yeah, so I had to gain about uh, 25 pounds ish, um, which is a fair bit of weight. Wow! So I, I basically did like a dirty ball where uh, I gained a ton of weight, and then through increasing the cardio, slowly refined it to muscle. Yeah. Um, I had to eat like 3,000 calories a day to keep the weight wow. on, which wow. sucks. Like I'm so sick of it. <laughs> um, a lot of protein. Like I was having like two steaks for dinner, like really yeah. boring stuff. So. That was a really big challenge, um, but it meant that I did gain the weight as muscle, uh, which sometimes people say it doesn't really win a fight in boxing. It doesn't matter that much. I just didn't yeah. want to like put the extra fat on my heart. Right. So that yeah, was a whole like difficult protest of talking to nutritionists and all that stuff. And yeah. It was fun, but I'm also definitely going to lose it as soon as this ends because I get to stop eating so much food. <laughs> like I'm yeah. so excited to just eat less. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I, I, actually, there's a few people. Myth was telling me about that too. Just sometimes 
people are different. Some people just they just cannot eat. Like it's just it's what it's, like, it's so hard for them to just take food. Other people can't stop eating. It's just, it's just completely I think, different. Look, if person you were giving me like like today for breakfast because I could, I'm allowed to eat sugar again. I had like waffles with Nutella and ice cream. Nice. I can eat that forever. <laughs> but just eating steak, yeah. Like, yeah. And carbs, it's like dear God. It's yeah, like yeah. the heavy. The high amounts of food. Yeah. yeah. If it's it was like, a ugh. little amount with high calorie, it's different. You but give like, me a bowl of pasta with some cheese. Right. I'm going to dive in that. Yeah. But if you give me two steaks, and you're like, please let it stop. It's like just right. stuffing meat in your mouth, Pretty you know? <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. if there's if there's any uh, sort of takeaway that you have that you'd want to leave the audience with after this entire event, what would it be? I, you can do it. Like I know that's really lazy, but I'm the only person in this who works a nine to six full time job, and then I run a YouTube channel and a Twitch stream and do all this mm -hmm. content creation stuff on the side, and I have two chronic illnesses, and it was fucking hard. Am I allowed to swear? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it was really really hard, um, and I didn't think I would win. Uh, and, and I'm so glad that I, I even lost in the five rounds. Like, I didn't even think I would do that. You know, I thought that I would probably, the asthma would hit me and I would have to quit. Yeah. So it was just, I'm just really proud of myself for doing it. Um, and I feel like if I can, anyone can, you know. Like, obviously there, there are limitations to that. And I want to, you know, acknowledge privilege that I'm, I'm, right, I can right, still right. do it. Yeah. Um, we know, we, but, but we really know what you're was, saying. It yeah. was just so stacked against me uh, to, yeah. even, to even get there. Yeah. Um, and I had all these emotional challenges. Like I said, I found it really hard to hit women in the face when sparring. Like <laughs> I sparred Sabrina, and I was like sobbing, crying the whole time because I felt so bad about hitting her. And like that was a really hard hurdle to get over. Uh, so it's the most challenging thing I think I've ever done, and it's been a really hard like few months. Yeah. Um, but I did it, and I feel like if, like I said, if I can, then anyone can. And I highly recommend everyone take up boxing. It's really fun. You never have to fight somebody, but just take it up as a physical sport. The training itself. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's because you use your brain as much as you use your body. It's really mentally stimulating as well. Um, and I feel like as a woman as well, I think that I am sort of more confident standing my ground in a lot of ways. Like I just feel more comfortable. I don't know, walking around the street at night. I'm sure I'd still get shanked. Like, I'm not gonna pretend I can withstand yeah. that at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. she's gonna get shanked. Hey. That's a fear. It happens. <laughs> good and bad things happen to good people. It's true. Thank you. Um, yeah, definitely still a thing. But I just I feel more confident in, in my physicality a lot, and I, I highly That's recommend awesome. like, literally everybody take it up. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. You guys did a great job. Thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for cheering us on. Yeah, of course. I mean, thank I'm you for sure coming. So you worked way harder than all of us. Oh, well, I, I've, I've gotten that a lot. Riots. I've gotten that a yeah, lot. It must be crazy. Uh, it was. It was wild. I, I haven't gotten it enough though, so I appreciate that. Yeah. No, thank yeah. You. <laughs> thank you so much for all your hard work. And, oh, of no, course. I don't actually you know, it's just yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway, th thank you so much, Lana, for coming for everything. So, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. We had a line forming. Look, we're popular. Look at all the people that want to talk to us. I know. It's cool. Harley, what's right. up, man? Hello. Hey. How hey. are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Really? See, it's, it's, a, it's not just you. That's a recurring theme. We keep getting yelled at by production. So uh, I, I saw Harley a little bit earlier today. Uh, he walked out on the wrong floor of the elevator three times. So I don't even know if you remember that. But What did I do? <laughs> I been through like, oh, this is so zany and weird. I don't know if it came off as rude to you before the game. The no, 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 no. You're in, you're in character. Yeah, exactly. Dude, and it I'm was telling really you. crazy cosplaying as a, a wrestler, as a boxer, yeah. as Solid Snake. It was amazing. All at the same time. Dude. I was, I've been dopamine. That's me dopamine stacking. <laughs> I'm doing like three things at once. It's all pretend. Everything I've been yeah. doing, is this has been so zany. Yeah. Like, that's... Like, look Even at that. getting hit was pretend. Falling on the table, also oh, part oh, of the plan. Well, I was a wrestler, so yeah. you know it's all scripted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. The next of course, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. how to sell a punch. You know, but I did make a couple mistakes. Um, I noticed that uh, when I used the jab effectively, I controlled it. So there you go. my mistakes were I didn't uh, use the jab enough, and I didn't take a ton of steroids like my opponent does. <laughs> I'm kidding around, guys. He's been an athlete for decades. I'm goofing around. Yeah. I know John. I knew him for years. He's an amazing guy. He's a legendary wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. You made that fall look really realistic. That was yeah. really good. I can't believe how many muscles I have. Dude, I was going to tell you, dude, you look I, so damn good. I never see myself from the back. Dude, at the, I was like crazy. Get you look so here, damn talk. good. I don't like this part. I'm so to see Why are <laughs> his nipples really so good, small? Too, let's be honest. I wouldn't say anything. Mine are small also for my body. <laughs> Um, and usually uh, we're pretty sensitive about it, he and I. We're part of a small nipple support group, so it's 
super well, weird it's, to be talking it's, about it on camera. Well, it's, right it's now. not that oh. the nipples are small, it's the rest of the body is so big, the muscles. That applies it's, to other things too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally yeah, because does. everything around it is so big. It's a visual effect. That it looks small and thin yeah, because I'm, uh, okay. my yeah. legs are so thick. Yeah, that's and fair. short, and that's short fair. as well. Sometimes they look short too. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm happy about? That I woke up today. Uh, and I still have all my capacities. Yeah. I, uh, I, I I know I lost, but I'm happy waking up having lost and uh, not having a broken nose. Yeah. Like if I go. won but had a broken nose, I think I would be my spirits would be far more destroyed. Today, yeah. You know. Right. But the event went well. A lot of people showed up. Did it. Did it for charity. Uh, and there was a lot of hate surrounding it. So I'm so excited to see some a lot of creators that I watch and whose content I enjoy. Yeah. Talking about you. Yeah, oh, uh, coming out to the event and doing it. I love it. It's awesome. And you yeah. guys did a great job, by the way, holding this yeah. down. Oh, so, thank you. What hurt more, the punch or falling on the table? I, I When I was falling out of the ring and I saw all these wires and sound equipment, I was kind of falling out conscious enough to be like, what's all this shit doing here? Uh, and I just didn't want to land on Charlie. Imagine oh, that's oh. how Moist Critical died. I landed on top <laughs> of him and, and, and you know what? Him. It would have been how he died. Let's <laughs> kill him. Without a doubt, he would have died. Let's turn into wrestling real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't kill him. And when I landed on that table, I was I was kind of conscious enough to be like, cameras are probably on me. This feels like wrestling. I'm just going to sell it like I'm a wrestler right now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Do it. And, Make uh, it the show, dude. Yeah. That's that's what's so great about this whole thing. I got to ask. How, so you, you, you were cosplaying a snake going into the fight. You did that twice, the boss, the sauce boss. Yeah. How big of a Metal Gear fan are you? Metal Gear Solid in 1998 was the first game I beat by myself oh. from beginning to end. And I was very hard at the time for me at my stupid little kid brain age. And when I beat it, I was like, I'm going to play video games for the rest of my life. Yeah. There for the rest of my life. There you go. Um, and the last one, I just thought I was like sauce boss, big boss. It lent well, so I did it. This time, I kind of was like, and a lot of people that were hating on the event. I felt like a lot of times it was like one man, one man mission, and I so I really resonated with Solid Snake. Yeah, there. hell yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna do an anime intro, and then I swerved and I did this instead. And yeah. Like, and I think there was like 18 anime intros at Creator Clash too. So I'm wow. glad yeah, I it was good. That. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. You didn't. No, I, I, I love Metal Gear, so it's just like, for me, I was like, how... Oh, so it wasn't it sick? Dude, when you're like, wasn't oh, what a thrill, what a thrill. I was like, oh. What a thrill, yeah. It's so good, dude. I can love Bloom on a Battlefield. Yeah, I yeah. love that also. Yeah. There's a quote from a video game. I don't know yeah. if you're like, this guy From Metal Gear 3, yeah. It's all yeah. 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 yeah, anyway, we're getting yelled at by production again. Okay, we're... cool. Hey, guys, uh, what is this, on your Twitch? Yeah. yeah. Where are my primers at? Where are the kids' primes at? I've been saying it for years. Where are they at? They're all gone. Hey, you want some of this? You want some of this? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> hey, hey. How are you? Uh, how are you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, we, have, we have Anissa hello. and Ida's with oh us. Oh my god, I'm looking myself in the <laughs> camera. I look. Can we get a close up? up? Can we get a close up of him? It's a nice right in the face. I don't think they can do that. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Show the cut. Yeah. Goodness. And, uh, so, do you get it's like stitches? like some Viking ma yeah, makeup now. Six stitches. Six Oof. stitches. Yeah. Oof. But I'm less damaged than last year, don't you think? You know what? You, I think you actually are less damaged. Yeah. Last, year, last year, you were feeling pretty bad. I remember yeah. afterwards. At this, at this <laughs> rate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Floyd Mayweather will do very little damage to me <laughs> yes. in 2030. That's right. That's yeah. right. So, we got highlights of your fight here <laughs> against Alex. They're coming in. What a beautiful fit. There you it go. was glorious. So what was so what was the biggest thing that you, you guys felt or that you felt uh, coming into the fight this year versus last year? Like how did you feel different? Uh, well this you can you can kind of tell this year I was like my natural weight as okay. I'm getting pummeled right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. Oh shit, I actually haven't seen any of this yet, so this is kind of engaging <laughs> to me right now. That's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, cardio was off the charts. My last VO2 max was uh, 52, which basically just means I'm a professional athlete. You're, you're basically a machine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I noticed could, you I didn't. I probably could have done like four more rounds. I, I, you legitimately didn't look like you slowed down the entire time. Awesome. Like, like watching, like it was just you. Compared to last year, because last year even your cardio was pretty good last year, but but 
Compar Cardi was shit last year. Well, com comparatively, because you also, wait, did you ever tell people what you told me? Oh, no, I, you can say it, though. Okay, so people don't know this. He was, like, like deathly ill, like, a week before and, like, could not breathe. Like, literally a week before, leading up to it. That might be an exaggeration. It was bad. I was coughing a lot. I yeah. had, like, big tonsil stones. And uh, he, but, but they never told anybody. <laughs> like, I guess, like, if you tell people, it's like you're making excuses. Yeah. But I'm going to tell people. Cause, like, you. <laughs> you know, Valid. Yeah, it was bad. I mean, because I remember you going in and you told me. You were like, yeah, he is just not able to breathe at all. Like, hopefully it's going to be okay. But yeah, well, he was in the shower. And I filmed it because I thought we were going to do a documentary. So I like filmed him coughing in the shower all night. He was coughing. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be so bad. He also had fractured shins, but like you can fight on fractured shins, mm. but you couldn't be as bouncy. But we found that. People are going to be saying excuses, yeah, excuses I know, I, I know. for the fight uh, from a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> from a year ago. Let me just add, he still would have lost to Dr. Mike, yeah. even if he could breathe and didn't have fractured shins. I don't know, that battle, that's valid. Yeah, no, it was, uh, I mean, last year's fight was great. This year's fight was great. It's uh, it, it's one of those things, like, just seeing, like, this whole event being put on, like, I mean, you guys you guys are very much a team doing this together, you know? And, and it's, uh, like, Anisha, is, you basically, like, retired from content creation, but, like, not really, because you're still creating this whole thing. So, like, what all, what all goes into that? that uh, oh, my God, so much. Um, so, yesterday, just to give you a beh behind the scenes, Chris Raygun's crotch guard was not in his bag when he arrived at the arena. Oh, no. So, we had to solve that problem. <laughs> and then Harley found out three fights before his that he didn't have his mouth guard in his bag. So, we had to solve that problem. Um, it's just like a lot of coordinating and kind of like, I think the best way to describe what I do is like, I'm the glue mm -hmm. that kind of just like needs to be wherever it needs to be to like stick things together. And also care about the fighters and check on their progress. And like, I do the matchmaking. Mm -hmm. So like, I'll like look at how they're sparring and like look at, you know, how things are going. I'll put fight order up. Like mm -hmm. the fight order was my fight order. Uh, I'm pretty proud of it this year. I think it went really well. I think the order of the fights was perfect. I like as far as like how the the, the keeping the entertainment going and like what fight happens when. I think I think uh, Jack and Dakota coming out the gate was so good because I think it showed like I mean last year you had like the Big Bang yeah. that 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 set the tone. I think for the entire like the entire idea of the Creator Clash like it was perfect. And then this year it was like okay Creator Clash, but it's like dude, this is like a full on match. Like they're they're into it and they like know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It was so good, so perfect. So, yeah, it was quite like, amazing. We saw him practicing in the red room interview, and his coach just uses his bare hands. He like yeah. he just catches the punches, and we're like, what? Yeah, That's insane. He, he gets very enthusiastic. I'll like punch one of the the pads out of his hand, and then I'll be like, oh, don't you want to pick that up? And he's like, no, hit it, hit it. Uh, yeah, if a finger, you know, if he just bends his finger a little bit, or like. If Ian throws a hook wrong, like, he's breaking a finger. I don't know why he does that. I'm always like, Michael, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he was like, hit me here. Hit yeah, me here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they get you used to the punching, like, yeah, something a that target. is in a pad. Yes. Like, that's, actual human body. Totally. That's a big one. He's always encouraging me to, you know, treat everyone like a heavy bag, uh, which is very tough to do. Um, what's the slogan? Uh, through the brainstem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through Punch through the brainstem. Punch through the brainstem. Yeah. There you go. And in the very literal sense. Yeah, yeah. Just, just send it right through the face. So. <laughs> now, is there, um, so so going forward, you, you said you don't think you want to do a third fight. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting options out there. Okay. At this party, I'm getting a lot of weird offers. Okay. Uh, I don't know if to I'm going to To fight or other things? What's that? <laughs> to fight or for other things? Some other things. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. So, some interesting matchups, like past fighters uh -huh. uh, that have fought on the card that are like, hey, oh, maybe yeah, you and me, yeah. maybe we, we should go toe to toe. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. That uh, could be fun. A lot of mystery. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I was talking to Myth. Myth yeah. had some theories of people he wanted to fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, he talked to you on it, Oh, right? so Myth and Dad. Yeah. I think, I think Myth and... That's nuts. Myth and Dad would be nuts. Yeah, that that'd could be, be real crazy. Nuts. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. So have you, have you thought at all about, like, if you don't fight next year, 
like uh, what what your role would be like in in the show itself? Like, would you commentate? Uh, would you what would you want to do? I think I'd probably commentate some sort of like non-direct commentary role. I don't know what I'd do, <laughs> yeah. but I, I do have a plan. I really want to use the what I've learned. Uh-huh. And I'd like to go around and give fighters more sparring work. Yeah. I, I think just being an extra body for people to beat up yeah. would be good. Yeah. So. And, and you know what? Speaking of that documentary idea, I mean, having being able to actually travel to the different fighters locations and get to do stuff with them directly would be sick that's exactly what we were thinking about because we've been like grounded for two years like we haven't been able to travel or do anything so like being able to like go across the country and like meet fighters talk to them about how things are going have ian spar with them film it you know cut it up and put it out there so like people can like get to know the fighters the way that we get to know them because like when we're in the dressing room watching those fights we care so much, and I think we can make like the viewers care like that as well. Yeah, yeah 100%. I think that'd be so huge. So, uh, is there anything that you guys would like want to leave everybody with? Like, Creative Clash is over. You had one, Creative Clash two. At the end of this whole thing, and going into Creative Clash three, what do you guys really want people to know? Do hmm. you have any ideas? Uh, I think that everybody should respect the fact that there's YouTubers who's YouTuber and Twitch streamers' biggest fears is losing relevancy, and I think it's kind of insane that people are signing up to not only risk bodily harm, but also like slow down on posting content and risking. Oh, it's, it's a big sacrifice rel- doing it's this. Huge sacrifice. Big sacrifice. Um, and they do it, and I think we should really respect that. I, I I think everybody who comes in and fights, win or lose, it takes a lot of balls to be able to do that because not only do you put your your you know yourself in physical danger. You know, you're, you're putting yourself all through all that training, everything else. Like, you know, a, a lot of us, I mean, everybody either does YouTube or Twitch or something, and there is a, a a massive fear of the thing that you can't control, which is the algorithm. But nobody yes. really knows how it works. It's like, yes. if I don't post, if I don't do this, but everybody just has to take time off for this massive charity event. So it's uh, it's super cool, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I, I agree with all of that. <laughs> uh, well, I mean... I just want to thank all of the fighters, uh, you know, to echo what Anissa said. It's a, a huge risk to, you know, do this and, you know, financially and, you know, you can die in the boxing ring. A lot of people got hurt, me included. Uh, and it's it's not a joke. Boxing's not a joke. You know, we're really sustaining damage and it takes, uh, you know, a lot of balls to get in the ring. So. Thank you to the fighters and uh, potentially future fighters. Also, I think all the female fights went the distance and all the female fighters went fucking hard. Yeah, oh yeah. So I'm so excited to like keep that a consistent thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Absolutely. The females did crazy. More women next year. If you're interested, hit us up. We'll yeah. get you about. If people want to fight, what's the best way to contact you guys? I think probably Creator Clash DMs on okay. uh, Twitter or Instagram. Okay, awesome. So, I think that's it. We're getting yelled at by production. I think we have awesome. to end. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for, for coming to talk to us. Thank you for, for putting on this massive event. This has been great for everybody, man. I, I, I love being a part of this every year. Like, the last two years have been so fun. So, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure Amran, you, you, you were telling me you feel the exact. What's he saying? You, sorry, you, you were telling me earlier like how cool it is to be a part of this this oh, year. Yeah, it's so cool. Thank you yeah. so much for having us. Yeah. It was no. really awesome. I, we, I don't know what we do without you guys. I have like, you know, no streaming experience. <laughs> I don't know what any of this shit is. Yeah. So uh, I like to rely on the experts. Yeah. Well, I, for you, you iDubs, it's a, it's a good thing you weren't streaming 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, anyways, thank you so much for joining us. Creative Clash has been incredible. This has been the red carpet thing. Uh, I might come back. I think we have to shut it down. So I, I may have to come back uh, if, if I want to stream walking around a little bit and doing some of that uh, afterwards. So no promises, but uh, we may be doing that. So what are we doing? This is so So thanks well. for joining us. Make sure you're doing the right hand motion. What are we Be doing? Be careful. Yeah.